This is a Baby Zen Yo-Yo, and today we're going to list the five most common breaks or problems that occur with this stroller uh, requiring uh, fixing. So these are all problems that we have seen in the workshop. Number five, the least common that we have seen, is that the rear frame breaks. And it has a tendency to break right here where the bar goes down to the crossbar assembly, right here above uh, this plastic part that it slots into. Uh, that's undoubtedly a result of not following the weight specifications on the stroller, or if there's an actual accident uh, closing a car door on it or something. Uh, but we have seen it two or three times now that it has, a, it has broken here, right here, where the bar goes down into the back assembly. <clears throat> Number four is the canopy bar. So, I'll show you. Right here is a bar that goes through the entire canopy and is made of very thin metal. And uh, we have also seen this break several times. It is possible to get a hold of replacements uh, via Babyzen. That's just a matter of replacing it. And uh, this is just, again, one of those situations where it's not something that you're using too much weight, but it's just a matter of an accident and it's a thin part and has a tendency to break. The third most common type of break is straps. And in this case, we're talking about two. The most common of the two being the straps that <clears throat> hold the shopping basket in place. They run through this little plastic loop here, and uh, when you put a lot of weight in the shopping basket, it has a tendency to rip straight downwards as it comes in contact with this plastic loop here. Uh, the second strap that sometimes gets damaged is the strap that you hold when you are, have the stroller folded and you have it over your shoulder. And uh, the strap itself doesn't tend to break, but these little metal hooks have a tendency to start to bend to the side. Uh, if it's not too far bent, then you can bend it back, uh, but in some cases you'll wind up snapping the metal while doing that. The number two most common problem that people have with this stroller uh, that can occur is damage to the textiles themselves. So where we tend to see rips in the textiles are along the canopy ridge here. Uh, very common, it's rather thin, right up against that metal bar. Just rub it on things a bit too much and it winds up ripping. Uh, the other place that we tend to see it is in the shopping basket, and again, that has to do with putting too much weight on the stroller. Uh, rips in the textiles can, of course, occur anywhere. It's just a matter of bad luck, uh, and in most cases, you can solve the problem by sewing. The number one most common problem that occurs with the Baby Zen Yo-Yo is the ball bearings. Uh, it happens on both the front and the back wheels, more often on the back wheels, uh, but the front as well. We have videos that show you how to remove the front wheel by unscrewing the axle uh, and how to take out the ball bearings if you want to swap them. <clears throat> on the back wheel, you can also remove it. It's a little bit more difficult, but it is also removable. Uh, I'll show you on this one. The ball bearings are actually destroyed completely on this back wheel. Uh, and the rest of the ball bearing is stuck on the axle. It's rusted tightly on there. Uh, we have a video showing you how to remove the rest, uh, the remaining elements of the ball bearings and replace the ball bearings in the back wheels as well. So those are the five most common problems that occur with the Baby Zen Yo-Yo that we have seen in the workshop. We hope this video has been interesting to you. And if it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.